there are two parts to consider for Lambda networking. Traffic getting into a function as part of an invoke and network traffic that your function code initiates. First of all, the only way to invoke a function is via the Lambda API, which is the front door to Lambda for all clients and services that invoke Lambda functions. These include CLI and SDK calls, as well as services that invoke your function in response to events. This is the only way to invoke a Lambda function. You can't SSH into a Lambda function or invoke it via any other path. All Lambda functions run inside VPCs owned and managed by the Lambda service. A Lambda service team maintains the configuration and monitoring of them. By default, Lambda functions have access to the public internet, so your code can access AWS services and the internet. When you use some AWS services, they create resources that are only accessible from within your customer VPC. These can be relational databases such as Amazon RDS or data stores such as Amazon Elastic File Service or other services running in Amazon EC2 or ECS. If your function needs to access resources in a VPC, you need to attach the function to your own VPC. This creates an elastic network interface in your VPC to allow network access from your Lambda functions to your private resources. Network interfaces from your account are shared across unique security group subnet combinations, which allows Lambda to more efficiently use network resources when functions scale. Also make sure that your function has access to at least two availability zones for redundancy. Your functions continue to run inside of the Lambda service VPC. You still don't have direct network access to the execution environment and can now only access resources over the network through your VPC. And you manage the function's internet access and network connectivity with VPC resources. You can set up a NAT instance or an Amazon NAT gateway. You can also use VPC endpoints to enable private communications between your VPC and supported AWS services. AWS Lambda supports VPC endpoints itself, so if you need to access Lambda from your VPCs, you can do so if you need to. So thinking about whether you need to connect your functions to a VPC. If you have resources in a VPC that your functions need access to, Lambda can easily connect to them. And this setup is on function creation, so it doesn't impact cold start times. However, you don't have to connect your functions to a VPC to make it necessarily more secure. All internal AWS traffic uses the global backbone and is encrypted, so not just open over the public internet. However, if you do want additional network routing control or egress access control or more visibility with VPC flow logs, then you can also use VPC features for this. If you want to use a VPC with Lambda, Lambda works great with VPCs.